You guys want to rest here? The vermilion vegetation certainly gives this realm a distinct, if somber, ambiance. Seems like there's lots of fruit and plants that we can eat. I also can't help but notice the ceaseless howling of the wind. It should be easy to dry our laundry out here. I can't tell if these two are actually having a conversation or what. Good! This came out just the way I hoped. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's been catching fish with Kisara, and he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone, too. Just like they did to him. You sound like you're okay with that. Yeah. More than okay, really. It feels... natural having Hoodle and everyone around. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh. I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? Do I really look that old to you? Huh? You don't like that? Okay, how about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. And Kisara can be our mom! Well, then how about Dolhalim for the dad? I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dolhalim. He's more like an uncle. An old uncle, who's too preachy and snarky for his own good sometimes. And as for Law... Hmm... Well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and Law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Hmm... This is hard. Oh! Law can be the pet dog! A dog? Do dogs really count as part of a family? Of course they do. If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> when you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. I just want to keep traveling the world with you guys the way we are right now. You okay? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Actually, I think I'm gonna go practice with Hoodle for a bit. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. I want to go back to bed. I think Hoodle senses an owl around here. I see plenty of ruins around. I won't forgive you! He did! That's enough! Get yeah. through! First drop! Move it around! Rise and wiper! Let's get the first drop! These ones can run rings around us! Mega Mike! Here I come! Coming to you!
felt right to me. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Forest? right to me. This is one of the places where the Dark Wings and Almadria fought. I wouldn't be so sure. This place appears more ravaged by time than combat, even if there are signs of destruction. Right, here it goes! I'm on it! Hey, That's hey, the hey, I'm on it! Hey, 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 I'm on hey, it! Hey, I'm on it! I'm on it! I'm on it! I'm on it! I'll finish you here and now! got flyers! I've got this! Let him fuck with him! I'm on it! All yours! That's freaking dumb! I'll work you through! Any injuries? Let's dispose. 
dispose of the trash. I'll smash you! Rising Lightman! This one's mine! I'm on Raging Rolling fast! Here, Airborne Beast! My Pesky airborne scoundrel! Sounds like a job for yours truly! Rolling fast! Rolling That freaking does it! Rolling one! Coming for it! I'll dare watch it! Healing circle! Rolling one! Soaring on power! I'm ready! Evil assault! Stronger. If I'm as strong as my dad was. One day I think you'll surpass him. <laughs> I wonder when. We should be able to cook here. I hope we manage to catch Almadria soon. I hope so too, before she can cause any more havoc. <laughs> you okay, Rinwell? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't push yourself too hard now, okay? Okay. Thanks. <sighs> oh, Hoodle. I don't know what to do. I'll see you again tomorrow. All right, guys. Ready to go? Dead end? No, there's an elevator. What's operational? I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Dannons. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. 
And we damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set and we'll set sail. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Till then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. Mothavar said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. I guess I'll check in on everyone and see how they're holding up. I took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, I could finally see the horizon in the far-off distance. I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just... goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria. Was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw-up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. 
Ah, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything. Though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least. I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did. As utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead I'm did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. You don't look so good. Are you alright? The floor... It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean Deadeim? The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadeim. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us, but nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadeim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. 
I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Dolim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in, it's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadheim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfong tell it, Deadheim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Dark Wings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> I'm not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. Mm, I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? Law is okay? If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him, too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Us, too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we'd prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahag Sar has people like Deadheim. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well, I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <sighs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabelle didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. 
Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alfin. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But I guess I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels... ...not being able to hold another person's hand. much further you'll go overboard keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship I'm looking at the ocean the ocean yeah the waves they help me think this world is filled with natural wonders the icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, and Nias its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually manage to put a stop to the crown contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good, too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans, too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet... They didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So... I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. Never actually touched another person like this. Shion. Ever since I was on Lenigus, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. But then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. 
It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. <sighs> well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renesalma, right? Then you can... Uh, Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah, we are. I wonder how much longer it's going to be before we catch up to Almadria. I'll ask Mahavar. Thank you. 